Latasha Brown is the co-founder of the Black Voters Matter organization. She's in Atlanta, Georgia, and it's always great to check in with her. So, Latasha, welcome back to CBC News Network. Thank you for having me. You were listening to Macda. I'm wondering, based on what you've seen as you've been out working and trying to drive voters into the polls, what do you expect is going to happen in Georgia today? You know, I think we're going to continue on this trend of breaking records. It has been a high turnout election, surprisingly. You know, and I also think that there's a lot of energy out there. We were out campaigning on yesterday and I everywhere we went, people either referred to voting or saying, I'm going to vote or I voted early already. So it is a rainy day in Georgia. So I do think that that will create its own challenges. But it, people seem really resolved. They understand how critical this election is and what message I think who is elected will send what message around who we are in Georgia and what kind of leadership we believe that we desire we deserve. Okay, so that's a really interesting point. Are you speaking directly to the candidacy of Herschel Walker with that statement, Latasha? Yeah, I think it's for both of them. I think that at the end of the day, I think you have two candidates that are distinctively different. You have one candidate who is has, has literally um, decided that has been selected in many ways. You know, the Republicans actually handpicked him out of, of, of Texas, brought him to Georgia to run for this particular seat, even of, according to his own taxes, he doesn't live in the state of Georgia. Then you have Warnock, who is actually homebred and Georgia born, that he's from this community, is rooted in this community and actually lives here. So I think that those are two distinctive pieces. We also know the position of what, what Warnock, we know his position on health care, you know, his position on housing, all of those things. We don't know that. Um, with Walker. Walker has has literally not really addressed any of those particular issues. The only issue that he has actually been assaulted on has been around the abortion issue, where he said that he would support a national ban on abortion. You know, it, given that there are uh, uh, people in his life that his ex-partners are saying that he actually paid for an abortion. So we have two distinctively different candidates. And I think who, whatever candidate is elected, it is going to send a strong message around the world around who Georgia, like who want, who Georgia wants to represent them and who we are as a state. You know, there's been a whole lot of discussion about the historic nature of this vote, that there are two black men for the first time, major party nominees for the Senate coming out of the state of Georgia. But even though that's historic, it's complicated in some ways for some people by the candidacy of Herschel Walker for the reasons that you just laid out there. So for you, what does this moment represent? You know, I think this is a moment around, uh, we have to really recognize how critical this election is. That part of what, when we've been talking to voters, quite frankly, they're not excited about Herschel Walker's candidacy. Matter of fact, the majority of African-American voters that I've spoken with, that I've talked to, all of them actually that I've spoken with, have said that they're quite frankly, they're embarrassed of his candidacy. That he has not only been dishonest, but he's been incoherent in many of his interviews. He just recently uh, uh, actually said that he was called a coon and that he was okay with being called a coon because in fact, coon was the smartest animal. I mean, this it, it is absolutely ridiculous of what we're seeing. And so what we have been finding with African-American voters is that they're actually upset and frustrated and feel extremely embarrassed. And they want to make sure that they send a message that it's not just a black face, that we actually need real leadership that not only will represent our community, but all of Georgia, right, in a way with integrity to lead in a way that is actually focused and actually is coherent enough to actually speak to the issues and understand the issues that everyday Georgians are faced. Donald Trump backed Herschel Walker, as you well know, Latasha, supported him. He didn't actually travel into the state to campaign on his behalf during this runoff campaign. How much of a factor is Donald Trump's presence in all of this? You know, I think people have not forgotten. People know that he was a handpicked candidate by Trump. You know, and I do think that that is what, when you look in the primary, Herschel Walker actually got 200,000 votes less than Brian Kemp, who's a Republican uh, governor. You know, and I think that because of that distinction, I believe that that Kemp actually made dis distance. He dis distanced himself from the Trump campaign and the candidacy. And he Herschel Walker was someone that was handpicked. I think that made a big difference with independent voters. And I think we're going to see that across the board. That particularly independent voters and voters who actually have a have a problem with Trump, that they're not, they're going to stay clear and far away from the Herschel Walker campaign because they recognize that he was Trump's pick. A big day for you. You'll be uh, getting people out to vote today, so I'll let you get at your work. Thank you, Latasha. We always appreciate your time and perspective with us. Thank you for having me. Latasha Brown from Black Voters Matter in Atlanta today.